Welcome to Hatch. In this video, we'll take a guided tour of the software. Let's get started. When you launch Hatch while you're in the trial version, you'll see this screen. Here you'll choose which level you want to use. Once you purchase Hatch, you'll go straight into that level and you'll no longer see this screen. So there are four levels in Hatch. And as we hover over each one, you can see a quick synopsis of the included features to help you choose a level that works best for you. This is the most basic, and this is the most advanced. Let's click on Try on the Digitizer level. You'll see the Authentication screen, and then you'll see the Hatch Splash screen. When Hatch loads, the next thing you'll see is the Design Library. Hatch comes with a nice variety of designs to get you started, and you'll find them here in the Public Embroidery folder. You can further narrow the selection by entering a search term. So let's type in animals. Press enter. And there we see all the designs that are either tagged with animal or have animal in the name. Let's open up Koi. Now you can select it this way and click open selected, or you could just double click it. And it opens in a tab. While the interface is the same in all levels, you'll have more tools and features with each successive level. So the design opens. This is where you'll do all your work. When you want to open another design, you can go back to the design library or manage designs or choose file open. Let's go to manage designs. And I can just click on another design. After you've opened a few designs, you can also open designs from the recents menu. Let's open something from here. Each design is open in its own tab. So all you need to do is click the tab that you want to use. Let's look at the screen layout. Across the very top, you'll see the main menus. Underneath the menus, we have two rows of toolbars. The top row is your main toolbar. And the lower one is called the context bar. Watch what happens when I click on something in the design window. Did you see how it changed? It changes based on whatever you're doing. That's why it's called the context bar. Along the left side are the toolboxes. This is where you'll start most of the time. Toolboxes organize related tasks into groups. So if we click one, we can see that these are all the artwork related tools. To access another one, just click on it. It opens and the other one closes. This helps keep the interface from becoming too cluttered and makes it easy to find just the tool you need. The digitizer level will have all the toolboxes and all the available tools in each one. Let's take a quick look to see what toolboxes are available at each level. These are the toolboxes you'll find in Organizer. These in Personalizer. These in Composer. And let's go back to Digitizer. Also, there may be more tools added to the various toolboxes as you move up in levels. Along the bottom of the screen, you see the colors bar. Here we have other tools over here related to colors. This blue bar on the bottom is called the status bar. The status bar will give you tips. There'll be a prompt area over here. For example, if I make a circle, notice what happens down there in the lower left. It's telling me to enter a point on the circumference. And then I can enter another point and press Enter. So keep an eye on that area because it can tell you either what Hatch is doing or what Hatch is waiting for you to do. Further over here, we see some design details. We see the height, the width, the stitch count, and any fabric that it might be set for, and the embroidery grade. We'll be discussing all of these in future lessons. On the right side, we have our dockers. And the dockers are tucked away under these tabs. You may have noticed this one pop up when I use that circle tool. This is the object properties docker. It lets us choose stitch types and stitch settings. Another docker you may find yourself using frequently is the sequence docker. And we have colors and we have objects. And there you see all the objects in our design. The dockers can be tucked away when you're not using them. And if you have a small screen, you may only want to open dockers when you need them. We're in Digitizer. 
So if you don't see something in the level you're working in, it may not be available in your level. As with toolboxes, what you see for dockers will depend on the level that you're using. Also, what you see on those dockers will depend on what you have on the screen. If I create a new document, there are no objects here. So there's no objects and there are no colors in the sequence docker. So you may be wondering, what level should you get? Basically, you choose the level by what you want to do. You'll have a better idea of what can be done in each level after you've completed this Getting Started series. Let's take a quick look at each level and talk about what it does. We'll start with Digitizer level. With this level, you can do everything. If you want to create your own designs, either from scratch or from an image, this is the version for you. You can auto-digitize, so we have the auto-digitizing tools up here. We also have photo stitch in this level. This is also the level where you can create appliques. You can digitize red work, and that's so popular, outlines with offset feature, which is in the Create Layouts toolbox. You'll really want to check the video to see what all this does, because it's an amazing tool. Even if you're already an advanced digitizer, you'll find all the tools you need to create any design you can think of. Plus, includes everything in all the other levels. Now let's look at the other levels. Here's Hatch Embroidery Organizer. In this level, you'll be working with existing designs. Most customers that purchase this level just want to resize a design, change the colors, and convert them to their own machine format. So you can customize the design, and you can output the design. You can do more with Organizer, but these seem to be the tasks people do most frequently. This is what Personalizer looks like. This includes everything in Organizer plus more. Most users that go with this level work with existing designs and want to add lettering or monogramming. So you've got your lettering toolbox over here and you can do monogramming. There are many who simply just want to create a monogram without any additional design and there are over 80 professional templates included. Others just want to add lettering to their projects with or without designs, and there are 63 professionally digitized fonts included, plus they can also use the true type fonts. You can do all of that and more with the personalizer level. Here's Hatch Embroidery Composer. It includes everything in Organizer and Personalizer, plus so much more. Most people will start with existing designs and then edit, reshape, or create new designs, all without digitizing. Composer does include the auto-digitizing feature, allowing you to turn an image into an embroidery design in just a few simple clicks. It does not include manual digitizing or digitizing applique. You can create your own designs, lay them out in various ways, change stitch types, and so much more. Before you know it, you've created a new design. You can even use the multi-hooping in Composer level. This lets you split designs for smaller hoops. If you like to use existing designs and add lettering or monogramming and change it around, then Composer is where you want to start. Here we are back in Digitizer. During the trial, you can try out each level to discover which level of Hatch is right for you. This quick tour will help you understand how the screen is laid out and organized to help you get oriented so that you can find just what you need quickly and easily. Be sure to watch the other videos in the series to learn what the tools and Docker options do in each level.